Hi, my friend. I am Ndizeye Basha from the Rubasha Family Podcast. I'm here today. It's a beautiful place in Sydney. And today is just the first introduction from the program I'm just to bring to, to share with you. This program also I have it in Kinyarwanda and I call it inspiration and motivation. And then also I took this word I take in Kinyarwanda and I call it inspiring and motivating. Just to share with my fellow African Rwandan to have experience of our life. And the two things we are going to always go to mention to talk about is just for us as African, for our history. In Africa, there was Africans before, before colonial and before religious come in to Africa. They were way they were living, they were way they are naming their children. But after colonial and the religion, all these things change gradually for a period of times. And then how you found out as African, most, not all, we found we have the name, it depends on where we have been colonized, the name of Portuguese, the name of French, the name of English. And then also you found we have the name of what your faith is, like Christianity, they have name. And then also we can have a Muslim name. That's where you found most of Africa, you found you are African, but you say, oh, these are Christian names, and then this is a Muslim name. This is the topic we want to, to bring back to uh, as Africans, my friends, to come back from our roots, our roots, how our ancestors was naming their children, how, why this thing change, why this change come in, somebody was bringing it to your other names from the other communities. Because uh, in the history, there's other countries which have been colonized, especially we could give example like India. India has been colonized, but when you look, they continue to have their own belief, their own way they pray to your God. And also they continue to have their names. The way their names, their, their children, it continue. Only in Africa is part of, has changed. That way we want to talk about, that's where we want to go back think there. How our senses have been believed, their God, how they have been, spirituality it was working and how it was naming what we talk. Now, for me, and uh, I teach by experience, I never had any other extra courage or anything there. I just went online and then I just learned. There's other way of learning these days because of the technology and also it brings us the same result like going to school because this is experience learning. For me, my names, I used to have a French name which is called Alois and they also we call, call it a Christian name. So this is a French name. But I change now. Now I call Ndizeye Rubasha. So Ndizeye, that is my name, and the Rubasha is my father's name. And that's how always they've been naming the children. Always Rwandan has the name of their son according a different meaning for their names. And then always they give the father's name. Or some, they can give you both names, and then you become also choosing your your own names. This is the conversation I want to bring to there. I want to, as African, let's go back to get back our name. Let's start naming our children the names of Africans. The names bear their, their regas as African. They should not continue to bear the names which represent the communities, which represent the colonial minds there. And that's where uh, when the missionary came, when the colonial came, that is where they attack us. They attack us through our mind. They instill us through in our mind. They damage us through their mind. And they did it systematically. They know what they are doing. When they came in, that's interfering to other people's culture and other people's way of living. And that is what it created supremacy. And that was created fear in African communities all the times there. That's why they teach us that somebody is going to come to save us. Jesus is going to come to save us. All those, it was just for themselves, to empower themselves, to be superior to us, through their mind. This is, it was the only reason they were doing that. And you could see it being coming to our mind. 
we believe in fear. I was African, always we needed fear because we were waiting somebody to come to, to, to save us. There is a Jesus who come to save us. And they keep telling, there is a God in heaven. There is God in heaven who will come on one day and to punish us. We live in fear of a, a sin, a commandment somebody has brought. My friend, all those things that we go to discuss about it. But I can tell you the truth. I can tell you the honest. This is somebody's idea. Somebody's mind came to tell us this is what it is. And you should be taking this as nothing else you should be taking there. And only things I'm going to tell you where we have fear most than anyone else in this world. When I say, oh, you are God. When you say our mind is your God. That's the most fear word you tell an African to tell him is God. Make them freaked because somebody say no one can care himself God. When you look at this world, God does not care if you call himself God. He will not worry about if you call himself God or no. But they put us in fear. And I've been telling you, it took me for two years to feel I could be God, to feel my mind could be God. And then I come in front of this camera to teach you. It's powerful to come to think to teach this. It's so powerful. But the fear, it had to end. I can see when you respond, my friends, the fear to call yourself gold, it's anonymous in us. And, and this is the change. It brings the change in yourself, but not the change or any other shape or form. You're not going to make anything. You're not going to build anything because you are gold. We are not going to compare. It's the Father, there's somebody who created us. And that is why he created us it's in a different color. He created us in a different Hey, but always we are in one. Where we are in one, in our mind, we are in one. We are in common. We could have different color, but we think the same. We believe the same. We do think the same. And only things we can have, it's outside. Outside, there are two things there. There are some things inside. Our emotions is the same like anyone else. You are white, you are black, you are Indian. That is where we are God. We are in common in that. We are in common in that Christianity. We are common in that Christianity. That is only things I can tell you is change. That is the things, man, it could be thinking about how life it is. Okay? And that is why I will keep continuing to share with this one. And the, the other things we're going to take is just about more our Christianity. It's just about more to learn exactly other translation of the Bible, other translation of how we can call all these things there because this is in ours this is in our mind this is the god true come to us to take to, to us to like anyone else and thank you you continue request your support on our social media we are on facebook instagram tiktok and youtube so we can continue to share i welcome your view i welcome your opinion to be able to change our mind to be able to support each other in everyday activity we are doing there. See, this is why inspiration and motivation. The other community had this secret for long, long, long times. They learned this because there is nothing you can achieve without having inspiration and motivation. And thank you. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to click here. And I'm sure you're going to love that one.